morning, everybody. Uh, today we are here with our vertical oyster garden program, also known as a VOG. And this right here is a vertical oyster garden. So what we've done is taken recycled oyster shell from some of our local restaurants here in the Tampa Bay region, uh, taken that recycled shell out to one of our curing centers or recycling centers. And from there, we will take that shell and thread it on a piece of nylon rope like this and then it is ready for deployment out into the Tampa Bay area. So to deploy one of these vertical oyster gardens, we will actually take this VOG, uh, attach a rope to the top of it, and actually suspend it from your dock, that being a dock of uh, Tampa Bay Watch or a private homeowner. And once we suspend it at the right elevation, uh, that will allow juvenile spat oysters to float by on the tide and actually glue themselves to each one of these oyster shells. Now one of these juvenile oysters is only about the size of a grain of sand, but over time they will actually grow into a full adult oyster. So here we have again our uh, vertical oyster garden that hasn't gone into the water yet. And here we will see one of the oyster gardens that we deployed uh, several months ago. This one's been in the water for about six to eight months. You can see the difference in what is actually attached and what is not. So here, in here are all the recycled shells, but all of this is live oyster that has grown on this vertical oyster garden since its deployment. And each one of these oysters is filtering about one to two gallons of water an hour, uh, up to five, basically about 50 gallons of water a day. And each one is filtering out uh, algae and plankton for food, but they're also filtering out are things like storm drain runoff, fertilizer, pesticides, the algae that causes red tide. And by doing that, they're helping us to keep our bay nice and clean. These vertical oyster gardens are available here at Tampa Bay Watch for private homeowners to take home and place on their property. By putting some of these on your dock, it allows you to create some of that oyster habitat, uh, work on the uh, biological filtration around your dock and around the area, and also create stewardship and discussion with your neighbors about the importance of oysters here in the Tampa Bay community. We hope you enjoyed our video, and from all of us here at Tampa Bay Watch, we thank you for helping us save the bay every day.